I mean, I was a trying to fit in kind of guy, um, fitting with the popular crowd, trying to fit in with what I thought was cool. Um, I was just hanging around with the wrong group of kids, uh, getting into all kinds of trouble, just doing whatever I wanted to do. Honestly, I wasn't even gonna stay in high school that long. I was probably just gonna drop out and become a nobody. His behavior became so erratic that we um, had gotten to where we were making our then 14 and 15 year old daughter lock herself in her room at night. So I experimented with drugs, nothing like harsh, harsh, but I guess the harshest thing that I've ever um, abused was, I guess, the Suboxone, which honestly, I didn't even know what it was. I hate to say it, but the sheriff's deputies knew us. Yeah. I felt miserable and it wasn't, it wasn't fun, so next question. It's really, really hard to, pr to be to the point where you have to pray that God will break your child. But that's what we needed. We needed God to break down the old Christopher and create a new Christopher. I was nervous about the whole thing because I didn't know what was to expect when I went down there. And so I wrote him a letter. And it said, don't be anxious about anything but pray about everything. And then I started praying and that's how I came closer to knowing God. And he's changed my whole life around for the better. It's amazing to see what he can do in someone's life when we're so small and we're so little compared to him. But yet he's so big that he can see everything and he saw me and he saw that I needed to change so he gave me that opportunity to fix that. And we weren't even away from pathway 10 minutes. And he said, Mom, I wanna get baptized. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Buried with Christ in baptism, raised to walk in newness of life. I love you, buddy. This is not the Christopher of the past. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And just to see a godly man coming out of all this turmoil, this is an absolute miracle. He provides blessings, he provides mercy, he provides grace. And that is true love right there. That's a godly love. And he sacrificed his only son to die for our sins so that we may have eternal life with him. Even though there may be some good moments and some good times that you have on this earth, none of those can be compared to what you'll experience whenever you're in heaven rejoicing with him. <laughs> Cause those will be the best moments and everlasting, long lasting moments, so. I told Christopher a few weeks ago, two years ago, I felt like you were in control. I said, but now, seeing that God has changed you, now I can say God's in control.